Hi, it's Jim Starkworth, the publisher of Cubanker Network, and welcome to another mail call. This is going to be a fairly quick one, even though there look like there are lots of boxes here behind me. Uh, but I just wanted to show that just as stuff comes in, stuff goes out. So yes, these are all things that are going out soon, or out today, actually. Uh, and some of them rather big boxes. I had to send through UPS because it's so freaking expensive to send them through the Postal Service. Uh, but we did get some stuff in. We got uh, a couple little things here, a couple of larger things. And we'll go ahead and uh, open those up and uh, see what we got. Uh, first of all, looks like we got something from Aber. They're sending out their, their new releases pretty regularly to us. And uh, while we don't make like these as easily available like on our spreadsheets, um, they, they are available for use reviews. And by use review, I mean something where you'd actually use it. Um, so, yeah, anytime you see something on here, if there's a project that you might be working on and go, oh, I could do a write-up on that and use it, you know, in this project and uh, show how it, how it came together and so forth, uh, then, yeah, we would make those available to people if they, if they want them. So you can email me always at publisher at kitmaker.net. But you're not always going to find these on our uh, spreadsheet simply because we get so many of these items in now that, uh, you know, I don't want 400 items on our spreadsheet kind of scenario. All right, so this one is a 48 scale armor for the Flak 3637 um, for the Italeri Tamiya uh, kit. And uh, it looks like it's a lot of um, armor and such, uh, right? Yeah, it's for one of the tank destroyers, maybe? I'm not sure. And what else? We have a bag of stuff. Wow, lots of things. Um, so what else is that? What else so they put out? Let's see, we've got uh, for, uh, this is, uh, I'm going to kind of break these down into sections. So this is ships, many ships, German, single, okay, all right, so in continuing with the German theme, we have a Flak 18 uh, and, and Flak 37. This is uh, 88 millimeter L56 for a 70 second scale. So, oops, I'll hold that up. You can see the number and everything there too, I think. Um, I'm not sure what kit this is for. It's kind of hard to read. It's so small. The printing, the printing is so small. Um, this is uh, 35th scale round clips for Soviet 7.62 centimeter um, CZKM DTZ. Sounds, sounds definitely like something Soviet. You can kind of see the, uh, the brass parts there. And then we get that up there so you can see the number and so forth. Um, and this is a set of Soviet barrels for Soviet tank T-50 in 35th scale, uh, 45 millimeter, 20K times one piece, and 7.62 millimeter DT in two pieces. So very small considering uh, the, the unit there. And uh, again, I'll just put the, the number up there for you guys. Um, then we have a German barrel for, the, again, 35th scale for the uh, SDKFC. 234-4 MIT 7.5 centimeter L48 barrel. That's in two pieces. And again, you can see the number on there. Um, and then this was a 35th scale armament for Soviet SPAAG's uh, ZU 57-2, 57 millimeter S68, two pieces for the TACOM kit. Uh, if I can do this right, I can get actually get, get it all on there in one shot. There we go. So that's got quite a bit uh, piece-wise in it, parts-wise. Uh, 35th scale armament for British Mark A Whippet, 8 millimeter Hotch Hotchkiss uh, uh, model 1909 in four pieces. This is for a uh, universal set. And it goes with, should go with most of the models that are out there. So eh, a little glare there. Oh, there we go. Much better. Uh, and this one is a 35th scale armament for Soviet BMP uh, slash dash one or BMD slash one. Trumpeter models, uh, again, get those in frame and tilt. Nope, nope, there we go. Yeah, it kind of comes out okay. Um, and then we've got uh, one 200 scale ship accessories. This is for the Mikasa 1905 model. This is um, uh, a Zvezda kit, I want to say. And quite a few barrels there, obviously. One 200 scale, that's a big one. That's a big one. Those are some big cannons there. Um, wing nuts of 16th scale, I believe. So these are probably just generic wing nuts. You can see, um, let's see if I can get the camera to focus in that close, but yeah, I'm not sure that's doing it. But there we go. 
Uh, one 400 scale ship. Uh, this is 20 pieces for uh, Vickers machine guns. Whoa. Yeah, they're, they're really small. Uh, you can see them there. And again, I'll put the number up here for you guys. So you to, oops, actually, probably more this way. Yeah, there we go. And then this is uh, one, one 400 scale. Also, set of barrels for Royal Heavy Royal Navy battleships. Hood, uh, three, 381 millimeter times 8 and 102 millimeter times 14. This is, again, saying, I believe. I'm not Sons of Vesta. That's something else. I guess it's just maybe generic. I'm not sure. There's the barrels. And there's the... The information. All right. Well, thanks to Aber for sending us all those sets. They just keep putting stuff out, don't they? Like, like crazies. All right. What do we got here? Um, oh, this is something from the local, the local hobby club. All right. Let's see what's in this one. I'm actually curious what uh, the folks at um, I want to say uh, Hobby Co. But uh, nope. This is from MRC. Probably some, uh, probably going to be some academy kits. Yeah, this is when when my when your box cutter hides from you. Let me break out the exacto. All right, what do we have? Lots of paper and many many kits actually, many kits. Lots of like computer. Did people still? I mean, seriously? I didn't even think printers like this actually. Like, I mean, this, you guys remember this? This is the old. Um, oh God, what is? I can't. It's been so long. I can't even remember the name of the the type of printer that printed this stuff. But it's obviously on like a little wheel, and you have the little holes here in the side, which can usually are like you know paper you can pull away, uh, perforated. But yeah, flat machine head screw screw shaft set. This is like a model works for corporation stock status summary. So I, I, I'm aware of all their stock now. Okay. All right. So right off the bat, we have a German T34 76 747R. It's obviously a captured, uh, captured T40. Boy, this this glare. Uh, T T T34. I was a T47, but yeah, that's because of the 747 thing. Um, and this, I'm not sure this is a new tool kit or not, uh, but uh, we'll definitely take a look uh, in the future to see if it is. Um, we've got a U.S. Navy SB-2C4 Operation Iceberg. This is in 172nd scale. And uh, again, Academy kit with uh, a couple looks like three different marking options, at least on the box. We have a U.S. Navy FA-18F. In 72nd scale, this has uh, got markings for the VFA 103 Jolly Rogers. And uh, again, that glare. <laughs> uh, what else do we have? The uh, Lots of aircraft. The ME262A-1 uh, or 2, Last Ace. And uh, this is in, again, 172nd scale. Uh, Academy kit um, with, like, look like on the box, anyways, four marking options. And then lastly, we have a. Uh, IL-2M uh, and Panther D, hmm, interesting, 172nd scale. So an aircraft and a tank in a box together. See, if they can work together, everybody can work together. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, that's not true at all. Uh, 172nd scale, as I said, um, looks like they got a couple, one marking option maybe, or two marking options for the plane and one for the tank. They're showing the side here. So that's uh, that's that. And then... That's all the MRC stuff, or the Academy stuff. Oh, wait. Everything Academy? Yeah, everything's Academy there. Uh, and then lastly, we got a box in, which I have already opened, but a box in from Tamiya. And we got the um, update kit for the uh, M40 that did come in right after. Uh, so that's the um, another additional 2,000 yen. So that would bring the price up to, what did I say, it was 6,400. So like 8,400 with this kit. Um, and then this is the full the full barrel, obviously with some some metal uh, ammunition you can kind of see in there. And I will be sending this off to um, Tech Fire Guru. Uh, you guys know 
from probably from YouTube anyways, if the, the guys who are watching from YouTube, he's doing the, the build uh, review slash feature, whatever it's going to be, um, for the M40. So he'll be using that as well. Uh, and then we got from uh, Tamiya as well, their new Ninja, Ninja H2R. This is um, not a motorcycle I'm familiar with. Obviously, the Ninja, Kawasaki Ninja I'm familiar with, but but I'm not familiar with this particular model. It's got a really cool green uh, tube frame. You can see in the picture there. Uh, very, very, very neat. A racing bike inspired, obviously. And uh, this is a 1 12th motorcycle set. And yeah, I know a motorcycle guy out there might be interested in doing a motorcycle, maybe. I don't know if he's more into motocross than, than, uh, than uh, racing bikes. Well, at least I say that only because of the stuff he posts on Facebook. That's right, Will Patterson, I'm talking about you. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, that's everything. That's all, that's all the stuff, unless you want to look at the small... No, no probably not. Um, again, if you're not familiar with how these videos work or why I make them, we get a lot of samples, as you can see, and I'd like to get these samples into the hands of qualified reviewers slash builders uh, and then have them give us back content to the site for providing them with kit. It's very complicated stuff. I know people have a hard time grasping it. Uh, that's a joke. <laughs> um, but there are, you know, some ins and outs. And I try to explain all that in the video, which I will link down in the description if you want to click on that, uh, explaining kind of who we are and, and why we do all this. But if, uh, if you know all this stuff already, then of course you can uh, just, you know, let us know if there's any of these things you are interested in. And if not, we will see you on the next mail call. Have a good week.